hello. Good morning, world. Good afternoon and good night. <laughs> I'm your host, Courtney Quarantine. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna get right into it. Today's the day that I try bleached brows. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup and then get into this situation. Um, I have pretty dark brows. As you can see, they are not light. However, I got a little special something to, to do this, to try this. I actually think it's crazy that I've never done this before and I've never had a bleached brow moment. Kind of wild. But also, I think that about a lot of stuff that I've loved throughout the years and just never tried or never did because I didn't think that I could for whatever dumb reason. But anyway, before we get into that, if you like these kinds of videos, if you like makeup or chatting or I'm a full-time content creative variety streamer, so if you like gaming, I also stream. But also consider subscribing if you like those things or you're looking for more YouTube content, I'm here for you. If you want to go ahead and like the video, I would appreciate that as well and also comment. Comment, uh, comment, actually, I want to know if you have or would try a, like, bleached brow moment. Or comment what kind of brow thing I should try next. Anyway, if you're returning, literally thank you so much for being here. I see you, bestie. I see you. I'm a little, mm, <laughs> about this but i've always wanted to do it and there's no time like now so could be my new obsession i'm gonna do a pretty like simple kind of like neutral eyeshadow look but also i've been like craving these kinds of like neutral tones i don't know what's going on i love a like really intense makeup look i really love like my super colorful makeup looks that i do i feel like i kind of always will love that kind of makeup even if i don't necessarily do it every single day but lately i just there are some certain looks i don't know if it's like the watching Queen of the Damned for the first time and seeing that vampires kind of like grungy neutral vibe but like I oh my god my brain was like woo. anywho so I'm gonna start off with priming my eyes with some cream clays like I usually do I'm gonna take M115 and M112 both Jessica Hayes shades I know you're shocked I know la 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 gonna place this color down and give us a nice base I guess I shouldn't go into my brow because oh this is gonna be so odd, I feel like. I hope I like it. I hope it doesn't end up looking like really weird. I actually don't even know what shape I want my eyeshadow to be because I don't know. Watch me get really obsessed with this. <laughs> I just, I feel like I'm going to. I'm gonna set those with a little bit of translucent powder like I usually do. Now I saw Michelle mix double shot and vanilla together to make kind of a cooler base. So I'm gonna do that for the shade that I'm gonna put on the lower lash line. These are the Melted Liquid Shadows Eyeshadow and Base from Melt Cosmetics. I'm literally obsessed with these, dude. They're so good. I'm gonna take a little boot of each. Oh, I love that. I love Michelle's brain, dude. So I'm just gonna run this along. Really nice. I'm gonna use a combination of the Mattes palette. This is the Master Mattes palette from Makeup by Mario. I really like this palette. It was very expensive, um, so I'm going to use it, but I also find it like very handy. And then I know I've mentioned this before, but I feel like the matte mob shadows are like really underrated, especially this one right here. I use pretty much every single time I do a look like this. I love these so much. I also really love these warm 64 and 65, but these down here and from this side to this side, it's M18. M4, M32, and M28. Love, 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 love. Truly, I think these shadows, like the powder shadows from Mob, are kind of slept on. They have such an incredible formula, but they just like the undertones and the way that they are, I love. Starting with M4, I'm just gonna kind of like buff it into the edge. And I'm just gonna use like a variety of these. I don't really know. Just kind of bop around to some of the lighter shades and just kind of smudge it in. Video is definitely more about like the brows anywho. Just gonna create a little dimension. Literally going back and forth between both of the palettes. Now here's where I think I might start my base because I really don't know like liner, shimmer. I don't know what it's gonna look like when my brows are bleached. Ooh. or like bleach looking. I don't know, man. I don't even know about liner, so I'm gonna chuck on a bunch of mascara. This is the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water. This is the tubing mascara that I tried literally yesterday, but I'm going to put a lot on. Dude, it's so good, okay. I'm gonna prime my skin ever so slightly with a tiny bit of the Milk Hydra Grip. 
Then I'm going to go in with one of my favorite foundations literally ever. I'm pretty sure this is going to stand the test of time. I hope. But this is the about face kind of combination that I like to do. This is F0 and L1. Put down L1 a little bit first. Then F0 just to kind of mix it in because I'm not white L1. And just spread it out. I literally love this foundation so much. If you saw my favorite like foundation video, this one. Oh, I've talked about so much like everywhere I feel like. Literally from the moment that it launched. But truly one of my favorite foundations in the last five years. Make sure I get like pretty close to my brow, I guess. I'm gonna take a little bit of Intuition from Ritual Defee. This is like, God, it's such a gorgeous like contour single pan product for me. It's technically called Intuition Inner Glow Cream Pigment. It is so gorgeous, dude. Literally stunning. Up on the temples a little bit as well. Not too much, because if I haul out my temples, like if I haul out this spot of my face like too much, it gets a little, ooh. God, it's so good. You can really have it be like subtle like this or build it up. Ooh. Then I'm gonna take my Mob Cream Bronzer in M80. Wow, mine is looking, it's, it's something. But I love this bronzer. It is so nice. I put it just like a little bit higher than the contour. It's like one of the most perfect like cream bronzers I've ever tried. Oh, I love it, dude. Ooh, that looks stunning. It looks stunning. I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and just set my entire face. Simple, simple glam, actually. <laughs> Ooh, God, yeah. Yep. Okay, so. Woo, I'm so excited. Um, I'm not actually bleaching my brows because I'm scared and I honestly don't trust myself to do that. So I'm going to use this Spectre Lash. This is in the shade Blonde. Now this is from Glisten Cosmetics. I think this is technically, what is this even really technically called? I don't think it says mascara information. So it is marketed as a mascara. However, you're gonna look at this and tell me that this you can't use this for your brows to fake bleach them. No, you're not. You're gonna say, Duh. So I'm gonna do my best to absolutely run this through my brows and to have my bleach brow moment. I'm literally so excited. This took a while to get to me just because it was coming from a long ways away. But Glisten, if you see this, Glisten, freaking love you. I really like their liners. I don't have too much from them, um, but I really wanna try more. And I actually bought a couple of color foundations and a couple of other random bits. So I'm very excited to try those things. But I said, add to cart, check out. Cute, look at that, that's actually so cute. You. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing other than I'm just gonna run it through. It looks like it's, it looks so promising, dude. Like, look at that. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna start running it through because I literally don't know what I'm doing, but maybe I like comb it, back comb it. <gasps> okay, wait. Okay. I think because I shave off half my brow, this might look real weird. I can still really see like my brow hair color, but I see the vision. I see the vision. I okay, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I already feel like this looks so cool. That looks wild. <laughs> Am I crazy? Like, does this actually look kind of cool or is it just like, oh my God, no, stop. I can't tell. It definitely looks more blonde than bleached, I think. I don't know. Do I hate it or do I love it? Oh, it kind of looks like I bleached my brows and then they grew out like a little bit. I don't know. Let me take my hair down and like put some lipstick on. Maybe that will help. I don't know. Actually, the more I sit here, the more this is absolutely a vibe. It's absolutely a vibe. It's very cool. And I don't care what anyone says. If you have anything mean to say, uh, I literally can't hear you. First 148 and then nude. Ooh, that's a good combo. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. I feel like I am going to keep this look for now, like kind of minimal. I might play around with it, but like right now, ooh, am I going to bleach my brows? Um, maybe. Am I going to bleach my hair? I actually have stuff for that. So maybe, uh, I just kind of always forget the most maintenance I do with my hair is shaving the sides and like keeping that up but other than that I don't know I'm really really low maintenance with my hair and like I feel like eyebrows being the hair on my face I don't know I'm really really glad that I got this because I feel like this is something that I could do very often and it was very easy also I love like a tinted brow gel just in general um I did actually get the other like the brown version of this I might use that as mascara but I might use it as like brow gel I don't know. 
depending on how easy this is to like remove out of my brows too. Who knows? I think this is like a really quick way to see if I would like this or to see if I would even want to try and it definitely is. I know if I were to bleach them, they would be a lot lighter than this and I also wouldn't see like my brow color kind of peeking through. But anyway, this was just fun. I'm really glad that I did this. I really like this look. I might add a couple things to it, but I just kind of want to let my brain like get used to it. I always say if you try something new for like the first time, like try to let yourself kind of like sink into it a little bit look at yourself a little bit like let yourself kind of wear it and let your brain get used to seeing yourself in a way that you haven't before so whether it's using like a different colored eyeshadow or like a different kind of lipstick or something like this I've talked about this for literally years this is also nothing like new it's not like revolutionary but like it's sometimes as simple as that I think also because I shave off like a chunk of my brows and like shave my temple over there too like it just kind of I don't know I like it. We'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me for more makeup and beauty content and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I feel so, I actually feel kind of myself. Is that weird? No, there's a certain vibe that's happening and it feels familiar yet not at the same time. I'm spiraling. Uh-huh, yeah, okay.